but yeah, gentlemen's agreement. Yeah, I was. I, they probably talked about this. And I was going to say, you know, we have Siegel Joe in our region who's an excellent wolf. So, I mean, I feel like he would have felt co more comfortable going Rob in this matchup. But they clearly agreed to go uh, Rosalina and Wolf. Well, let's see what happens as we enter grand finals of uh, MK Leo versus Wadi on their secondaries. Yeah, here we go. And we're starting on PS2, of course. Right now, things looking OK for Wadi getting uh, 22 on the board. MK Leo, of course, going to fire back immediately, taking over the stage control here with the forward tilt. Very into forward tilt. Yeah, and rest in peace, Luma. I mean, I, I feel like we're going to see that a lot in this set. Oh, yeah. I don't expect Luma to actually be play too big of a part in this game. Yeah, I, I don't know if I agree with this pick at all, knowing how good MK Leo is. As we've seen, you know, smash forward to buzz, things like that. Ooh, Ooh. scouting out that. That recovery from uh, from MK Lei was able to down tilt to side B and force MK Lei. My comments there, I'm always nervous. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were doing really good. I think you're really good. Yeah, you like keep doing it because it will come really natural to you. I feel like, yeah. And keep watching Void because that will help you a lot. Because I watched Wadi, that's what taught me like everything. Yeah. Thank you. You're doing good with it though. Like so far so good. Keep it up. <laughs> That's right. Keep up the good work. Everybody keep up the good work. <laughs> right? Because we back, baby. Oh, we back. Let's go. <laughs> so are they still playing or they uh, stopped no, and waited? No, they, okay, they cool. stopped and waited. All right, like, sorry about that like guys. Some good competitors. Yes, you know, sometimes technical difficulties happen and we cry, but we we move on. It looks like okay, yeah, so we'll be doing game two in just a moment here. As soon as we can see it. Three, two, one, so, is this uh, your first time to win Sunday Fights, or have you been here before? Yeah, this is my first time coming here, and uh, let's see, MS or no, I haven't even ever been to MSM or like any of the tournaments out here. I'm just a Xanadu regular, pretty much. Well, you're gonna be in the area for the next MSM. Are you gonna come out? Yeah, I'll definitely be at the next MSM. So that will be my first one. Can't wait for that. It'll be exciting. Is that here, or it's a so different arena? It's at a different. Oh, okay, venue. yeah. Yeah, so that that'll be exciting, definitely. This this arena, of course, I have a lot of attachment to, as Wadi proposed to me here oh, that's right. a year it. ago. Right over there. Yeah, right over there. We <laughs> stood over there and hugged for a minute. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, th this venue's amazing. Yeah. Definitely come out if you're in the area, guys. Uh, and it's every Wednesday you guys run this tournament, right? Uh, that's right. Every Wednesday, um, tournament starts at 8 p.m. You can, um, if you're in SoCal and you want to come out, check it out. Uh, you can either register online or you can register in person. Nice. We do have a cap, but uh, as of recent weeks, we haven't exactly been hitting that cap, so that wouldn't be really oh, Okay, so yeah, definitely come out and probably register online just in case. But they do have like a bar over there too with like very cheap food and it's delicious. I had the chili cheese nachos earlier. Oh yeah, really good. Yeah, spot on, definitely. <laughs> yeah, but I love this menu. They a lot. usually have like deers, uh, uh, deals with drinks. Oh and, yeah, uh, I heard the, about those as well. Yeah, you know, some, uh, some other stuff going on. Having so, the good old water. Yeah. yeah. H2O. Right, that's the best drink. And uh, you know where we're at. What's going on, Hobby? Oh, are they playing? You don't have a screen. Oh, were they playing this whole <laughs> they time? they playing that whole time? Oops. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we could not see the match. We're great commentators. We wouldn't have been talking about that otherwise. Uh, so clearly, uh, yeah, Wadi was was doing okay, I guess. Yeah, it looks like uh, Wadi was doing all right, but MK Leo doing just a little bit better. Up, uh, almost a full stock here. Okay, good forward throw. But an aggressive recovery coming out from Wadi, and that is a dead Luma. Yeah, rest in peace with that Luma. Now Wadi working his way back on there, rolling onto the stage and luckily not getting hit. I, I do like that though, because you know MK Leo likes to go for that forward tilt at ledge. So a great roll. Landing with those nares is such a good tool for Fox. I mean, it's really difficult to tell which way he's going to be landing on you, so it makes a really easy cross up. But, whoo, that forward air. Yeah, in a bad spot, but he should be fine. Yeah, I like that. If Luma had been there, he probably would have been able to get the F smash. But unfortunately, all by her lonesome. That's right, half a character again, but that quick right. up tilt, seeing so many stocks just get deleted Sheesh. because it's, of it. It's just such a safe option. And the up smash, too, not a safe one, but going to be able to do it. And both of them just laughing over there. This ain't even a serious match right now. This is definitely uh, this definitely looks like a set between secondaries. Yeah, and, and it is. <laughs> the competitors are just like, ah, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, so that uh, does that, okay. Like, just learning in the moment. It, and they play friendlies all the time, Wi-Fi, so it's just interesting to see pretty much a friendly right here, right now. 
Okay, and that means that these two players are definitely comfortable with each other uh, and very versed in, in each other's play styles. Yeah, ooh, the two dash tags gonna be a little bit risky, gonna get him knocked off the left side of the stage. And Wadi using those star bits. I mean, he was making great use of them before. The shield that Luma approach. Ooh, and the instant up B, instead of going for a jump this time, I do like the mix up on the recovery. Not gonna allow MKLeo time to space any sort of coverage. Hey, dash tag, and he's able to get away with it. Wow, yeah, I'm surprised. Wadi going for a grab and actually misspacing it too. Good forward air, gonna knock him out because you know MKLeo wanted something Ooh. crazy. Wow, down smash into Luma's down smash. Yeah, why? He, I don't know why he went for the side B on the ledge. I guess he expected Wadi not to do anything about it. Like, we're having a fun time here, right? I can do this. No. I mean, he might have been just expecting Wadi to go for a grab into up throw. Right. Or your forward throw just yeah, to get him Yeah, maybe he thought off. it would connect into him so he wouldn't get punished. I don't know. Either way, he's going to lose game one. Maybe that was like a big brain play from right. Pele. He was actually like aiming for Luma and then yeah. extending the hitbox. And then like connecting to Wadi, which would have been amazing mm -hmm. if it worked. But it didn't. <laughs> so now we're gonna go game two, and we are on uh, FD playing the Master Hand slash Crazy Hand song. Good song. And Wadi's just one game away from actually resetting the bracket. Oh wait, yeah, <laughs> we didn't get to see uh, game one and half of game two, so yeah, we'll catch up here. <laughs> All right, good forward air. Okay, forward air swing, just standard wolf things. Yeah, of course. Uh oh, getting a little bit trapped up here. Wadi trying to shark oh. out. He was either going to go for a forward air down air based on what MK Leo cho chose. And uh, yeah, I like the down air, but unfortunately not spacing it. Being able to convert Nair into up smash, great tool for Wadi and his Rosalima. Yeah, MK Leo trying to get his feet back on the ground here. And there we go. We got the down air, knocking Wadi out off the stage. And there goes Luma as well. Good sure stuff. That star is deleted. Now, here comes the ledge trap fleet. Great down air from Wadi, putting uh, Leo right back on the ground. Yeah, and he's actually doing like an excellent 2v1 right there for a second. Got rid of Luma and took Wadi off the stage and still trapping him in the corner. Ooh, waiting for Wadi to miss, uh, you know, to throw out something with it and then get the up smash punish. Very clean. I'm surprised Wadi actually went for something so risky because right. he was in control for majority of that first stock. Yeah, I'm not sure if Wadi meant to do something else or what, because he just like went to roll distance and up smash. I don't know. Very risky. Gonna lose his Luma, and this time up being real far over the ledge. I do like that. And not getting baited Ooh. into trying to punish that up, that F smash on shield. <laughs> just gonna run up up smash. I feel like that that's gonna be something we're gonna it's, see a lot from Wadi with this character. It, it's working. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's working. working. That's the thing. <laughs> All right. Well, either way. We're going to go into the second stock and Wadi down quite a bit of percent. Ooh. Luma already dead. Yeah, forced to use the second jump. Make sure you stop your momentum and keep yourself going into the blast zone. Hang on yeah. to that stock as long as you can, but unfortunately wasn't long enough as MK Leo <laughs> scooped up uh, with an up smash. Yeah, and he had the read on that roll for free, catching Wadi off guard and uh, punishing him. All right, good wow. little combo coming in. So that Luma was actually in his stun because of the shine. <laughs> Wadi just Ooh. didn't have enough time for Luma to recover, but... All right, I do like him going side B over top of him after getting hit by that quick uh, combo from Wadi, knocking him off the left side. But now it's Wadi who's trapped on the right. The downer coming through, but you know Rosa can just up B. But I, I have full faith that MKLeo was expecting the up B. He even tried to time the side B so it would connect, but Rosaline was able to get the, the ledge grab in the invincibility. Right, and I like him up being, uh, or up airing below the ledge to make sure MKLeo's off him. Another up air on the stage this time to take the stock too. But at 83 with such a light character, a little bit of a scary situation for getting this game three. That's right, you're only a few percent away where that up smash becomes a threat. With the way that Wadi's playing right now, it's a lot of nares, a lot of short hops. An anti air up smash could be the answer for MK Leo. Ooh, just an up smash immediately. Not gonna be enough to take it just yet. Oh, if he had gotten the second one. And you see both of them laughing like, oh, no, no, no. They know, they know if that second one had connected. We, this bracket would actually get resetted. Right. And oh, he, he brought Luma back, I think, with that blaster actually taking her out of the tumble and uh, bringing Wadi able to catch her back. Leo ain't such a bad guy. Wolf, Wolf is, <laughs> not, you know, not a bad guy. Right, and that back bad guy. Almost, <laughs> almost killing all the way off the left side. This time it might. What? Wow, oh, the Luma! Suck, the sucker punch from Luma, breaking that grab. Yeah, get off my mama. All right, so he's back in this for a second, able to get the grab right here. You hear MK Leo streaking a little bit. That's right. I've seen really good mash come out from Leo, but the air dodging to the ledge, that's a risky play. <laughs> Wadi trying to risk it all on an F smash, and I don't blame him, because if it had worked, it would have been great, but unfortunately we're going to go into game four. MK Leo, all smiles.
<laughs> so is Wally, honestly. They're just kind of like, all right, all right, that was even. silly feel like a tournament set <laughs> between these two players. It's, it, yeah, and the funny thing is, is it's still exciting, seeing as it's, you know, two of the best players in the world at this game. Especially, you know, MKLeo coming off of that Genesis win. That's right, the Genesis champion. Whoa, so indeed. impressive. And that was the first event for the, the PGRU, right? correct? Yes. So he's technically the best player in the world. Yep, <laughs> there he is. Look at him, Look young at man. Him. <laughs> he's come so far. Right. What's with these young dudes going crazy in this game? 16, 15, best wolves, man. I mean, there, there's even a, a crazy kid from, from Mexico that's doing plenty of work as well. Yeah, the younger you are, that fast reaction time, man, can't keep up. But all right, Wadi looking like he's keeping up okay. He's young himself. He looks a little bit older than people think, but he just had a birthday and he's still in his early, early 20s, so. Wow, well, day I learned. Say happy birthday to Wadi, guys. It was yesterday. But anyway, good jabs right here coming through. Knocking, uh, I almost said Zachary, MK Leo to the middle of the stage. Good M tilt now. Dash attack in a decent Kuma and can get uh, Wadi off stage. Yeah, bad situation. Losing his Luma already, and now he's going to fight his way aggressively, get back onto the ledge. But that's going to be a re grab. And he, what was he trying? I think he just wanted an angle to where he wouldn't get hit by that down smash. But, um. Well, he definitely didn't get hit by the down smash. He so. did not get hit <laughs> by that down smash. MK Leo couldn't touch him. Mission accomplished. And the up smash coming through again. Not able to take the stock, but. Oh, that's going to be it. Yeah, yeah. Good tech chase. And those platforms, he just. Landing in a, in a tech change position on those platforms is so difficult because it's really easy to follow up on. Yeah, right. That, it just looks so bad for MKLeo. Like, he knew himself. He made a face and, uh, before he died. But this time, it's his turn to start up a Vortex here, knocking Wadi all the way up to 64. Make that 74. Mm, a lot of mileage off these forward airs, but Wadi with a safe recovery into the other side of the stage. Right, and speaking of safe, that was a very unsafe side B from uh, MKLeo. Trying to come in. And did, did Luma just parry that? Am I crazy? What just happened there? Oh, Luma took a swing <laughs> at Leo. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, they clinked. I was like, what? What was that animation? All right, and a good roll forward getting out of the way because you saw MK Leo, shark, or MK Leo sharking. Even looking for his up smash opportunity, but he gets the Nair. Oh, and tries to convert into a down smash. He doesn't find it, but a run under up smash. These is the two answer. are just teaching each other that run up up smash is A OK. Go for that anytime you like. I mean, they should be doing it at zero. Yeah. <laughs> Right I now, like that's it. a perfect time for up smash. <laughs> and I swear, Wadi has rarely even had his Luma this entire time, but he's actually hanging on just fine. Yeah, I mean, just with like all the tools that that Wolf has, just the fact that dash attack uh, is enough to desync Luma just shows like how easy it is to get rid of that star. Right, and wow, catching the stand timing. And what move do they use? Up smash, gonna take that stock. That's definitely the MVP of this set. For sure. All right, the forward tilt, and that gets rid of Luma as well. That's a, that's something that I would say makes this matchup kind of shaky. Just a, simple, simple moves can knock Luma out of this. Ooh. Big back air from MK Leo. Sure. Wadi well, going to have to sneak his way onto the ledge, and I do like the roll, but going to get knocked off the right side. MK Leo so ready with a parry, too. Parry, but grabbed the wrong way. So not exactly any punish coming towards Wadi. Ooh, and Wadi trying to read that real high movement, but that is not what he gave up. And barely dodging that up smash. That's right. Favorite move of this set, the up smash. Yeah, it's the Which first one that killed. hasn't worked. Right. <laughs> okay, I like the fadebacks from Wadi, but he kind of goofed up. You hear Wadi saying, no, no, he didn't mean to do something. Oh, well, he's still alive, so he's still in the game. For right. 29%, 39%. Can be a very tough hill to climb. Yeah, they clinked right there, but Luma also gets a hit, so able to knock him Kaylee away, but doesn't matter. He gets the grab here, back throw, knocking him off the stage, and Luma is 100% gone. 150% up smash. Wow, he actually got his shield out. I think he dropped it. He yeah, probably went for the parry to get like a, a decent right. punish. But that parry system is very risky. Yeah, you, you got to time that so perfectly, especially keeping in mind multi hits and duration and things like that. But uh, Wadi, a little bit of a slip up there. Going to have to go into a game five situation and hopefully reset the bracket. But, you know, for MK Leo, hoping that it just ends here. That's right. It's either going to be the end of the tournament or we're going to see a reset. Yeah, very enjoyable set going on right now. Even with these two uh, just up smashing their way through their secondaries. I can't think of a time. It's been quite a while since I've seen so many up smashes. Seriously. <laughs> but you know, it's that inexperience with these characters because, I mean, have we seen MKLeo use Wolf before? I'm pretty sure this is like a day four character for him, just like Rosa is for Wadi. 
we were just you know hanging out with Boyd, and then he's just like, I'm gonna try Rosa. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are, uh, Grand Finals, Rosa. <laughs> All right, so there's the fourth throw. We're going to try to follow it up, but not quite getting it. Here's a jab, though. Both these players keeping up with each other in percent. What is that jab wow, animation? Yeah, Luma <laughs> inside of Rosa. You can't roll through or anything right there, but unfortunately had to end the attack uh, and take a quick punish. And the dash attack is going to get rid of that Luma as well as give MKLeo the ledge advantage. All right, but Wadi sneaking in a grab. Oh, forward air. You see another forward air or down tilt. Oh, punishing the up B. Yeah, I do like the down tilt that he's utilizing, and all that time got him a Luma, but now it's gone. Yeah, I think that Luma's lifespan uh, <laughs> was about a second long. Right, did he even the get saddest to life. <laughs> yeah, but a back air, even sadder for Rosa. She's got this new shiny gold uh, Luma on her side now. Good up air. Ooh, and trying to shark another one. But great conversion forward air into Nair. Easy damage, but not able to convert for much more. 113% onto MK Leo. You know what Wadi's looking for. He's definitely looking for that up smash. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Oh. No, I'm not able to get it just yet. And there goes his Luma, so he definitely won't be doing any hard hits here. Good forward smash, though. Is he going to read it? Okay. It looked like he was setting up for a down tilt, but then when he turned around, maybe a back air? Yeah, but MK Leo came on with jump up blaster? <laughs> I like that. And the freaking down smash just going to take him completely off the stage. And 153 on this wolf, man. Even down smash from across the stage, sending the opposite direction. <laughs> but wow, we're just gonna pretend that a down smash took the stock because there's no way that MK Leo actually did the wrong angle no and way. went directly down. We, I like how we saw both of them do that. Like, oh, I don't want to get hit by what they're throwing out. So I'll just kill myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ha -ha, it's like, hey, sucker. they couldn't hit me. That's all that matters. And look at this juggle right now. Wadi will never get out of this. 83% on the board, and he is not Ooh. done. He was charging that F smash, that down smash. If that down smash had actually gotten the tipper on it, that would have been game over. Right. This tournament would have been over. Seriously called Wadi out with that too, but Wadi. Uh, oh, not, not okay. again. Not again. Okay. Oh, it's a re grab. So, or was that a two frame? Either way, I excellent. I think that was a stuff. two frame. Yeah, very clean punish from MK Leo to take this tournament. Uh, game five, of course. That's right. Game five of the first set. MK Leo is your Wednesday night fight champion. Put that in his title and his resume. Yep. The most important win he's ever That's gotten right, right. there. <laughs> the most recent and most important win. Recency bias, let's go. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny to see that this was done with the secondaries. We had Wolf, we had Rosalina, and these are literally day fours, guys, which you can kind of tell off of all those up smashes. I mean, let's just give them another week. Let's see just how far they're able to develop their secondaries. Right, even I'm expecting them to, to actually like kind of pull it out for heart of battle. Yeah, I do as well. We, we, we were talking about that a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. where you know these this could just be like great practice for what's coming up. This, right, this and weekend. it definitely is. And it, you know, I definitely expect to see them use it at MSM and be like three levels higher, like be in that hyperbolic time chamber, literally just practicing. Because Wadi's over here with Void, they can uh -huh. practice every single day. MK Leo, I'm sure you can summon any you know That's California right. player to come out. So That's right. This will be very exciting to see at heart of the battle and MSM. That's right. So I think. That's going to be it for us, right? I believe. That's going to be it for us. Something crazy going on afterwards? Do we need to give a shout out for what our upcoming events are? He took his head that off. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Congratulations to MK Leo and good stuff to Wadi as well for uh, second place. That's right. No laughing matter. That's second place against MK Leo. With and, the secondaries. Uh, and uh, top three do actually take a picture because this is Wednesday Night Fights. Oh, hype. So, I see them over there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where I'm hip is. Yeah, I was going to say Please. third was uh, – they're doing the hoodie picture AKA right now. Ned. I can't wait. You guys got to retweet this picture when it goes up. And so I think this is going to be on – it's either going to be on 2G Gaming's Twitter or it's going to be on Level Up Live's Twitter. Oh, I, my God. That was might funny. be both. Uh, but definitely follow both of those two channels uh, just so you can see everything that's coming up for both of our events. And you can get more Wednesday Night Fight tight. Let's go Leo. Leo. Did you make a Wadi one too, just in case? You better have. Is it on the back? <laughs> What's on the back? Oh, dip, no. dip, I'm dip. kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> she runs away. She's going to go make another one. Okay. But the tournament's <laughs> over. What? It's okay. We. It's okay. They were using secondaries. MK Leo got it. It is what it is. <laughs> But yeah, congratulations, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed the commentary. Once again, if you have any notes for me, feel free to shoot them down at, you know, Twitter, Senpai, right there. That's right. And, of course, don't be sure to follow us both so you can figure out where we're going to be commentating at, not only this weekend, but in the future as yes. well. And uh, I'm hoping to see you all tune in for Heart of Battle. 
Yeah, it's going to be a very exciting event. And obviously, all these players are coming. We also have Void that'll be there. I think Larry Lur and That's Anti. Right. I think I'm forgetting uh, someone. Ned, not Ned. Um, you thinking of I'm Hip? He looks like Ned. Not, I'm it's you. not I'm Hip. Zenodo. <laughs> oh, thinking okay, of Zenodo. Zenodo's okay. Zenodo's supposed to be there. <laughs> oh, and 6WX also will be That's there. Right. So very exciting. So a few big names coming out. We're going to see some players that we haven't seen in SoCal for quite some time. So yeah. it's going to be some fun time. Yeah, and of but course, Korean. And uh, I believe he said he's commentating with Keitaro this weekend. So that will be exciting as well. Get hyped. Yeah. Oh, wait, what is that? Yay! Let's go. I can't read it. <laughs> okay, we can't, can't see I can't it. Read it. Oh, there we go. Get this out of here. Get this get this out of this pity <laughs> sign. No, <laughs> wait, let me have that. I want okay. keep Oh, give it to Leia. All right, so we actually are gonna do an interview? Yes. Okay. Okay, so yeah. We're gonna do an interview. All right, so I will see you guys around. Thank you for watching. Okay. <laughs> yeah, be sure to follow <laughs> at Senpai. She's definitely up and coming. Uh, commentator. Uh, do you want this sign? It says, let's go Wadi. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good souvenir from, from SoCal. Go Wadi. Go Wadi. <laughs> let's go Wadi. <laughs> so it's been quite some time since you've been here, Leo. My yep. friend. My son. Like a year, yeah. Yeah, it's been. It hasn't actually been a year? No. I think so, yeah. Like, uh, no. Hyrule Saga. Hyrule Saga, like six months. So, yeah, a little bit, a little bit over half a year. Um, so... Now that you're back here in SoCal, what do you think? How first of all, what do you, congratulations on winning oh, one fights. Uh, what made you want to pick up Wolf? Um, I was watching Genesis. I was watching Sakurai. <laughs> I saw Wolf was pretty good. I yeah. saw Tweak was picking, picking up close. I mean Wolf again, uh -huh. and I was like, okay, I, it seems like I need to pick Wolf too. It's a good character. <laughs> I play Lucina, Ike, and Wolf. Wolf is definitely so, uh, going to be a good addition yeah. to your arsenal of characters. Gonna try to practice Wolf a lot. How do you feel about coming into uh, this weekend? You know, especially hot, winning Genesis, winning Wednesday Night Fights, and now this weekend you have Heart of Battle coming up. I mean, I want to be the best player, so I'm trying to win everything. That's right. That, if you yeah. want to be the best player, you definitely need to win yeah, everything. Yeah, I want to do this here. I want to do like, I want to win like every tournament. Okay, okay. I would try at least. Are you going to bring out Wolf in, uh, in Heart of Battle? Probably. I would try. Okay, okay. I always say the same thing, and I always go Ike. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your Ike has been performing extremely well. You did. You played a lot of sets with Ike, and then yep. very few with Lucina at Genesis, correct? Yep. How yep. many sets did you play with Lucina? Two. Two? I just did, it, I, I just did it Lucina versus Light and Void. Okay. It yeah, was just like the car people, characters. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like fighting Fox with Ike so fast. And like Pichu, I never played that. Before playing Boy, I never played at Goo Pichu. Uh -huh. So I was like, okay, let's try Lucina. I used to go Lucina versus Pikachu in uh -huh. Smash 4. So I was like, okay. It seems like a good match in this game. Lucina's better now. So let's see how it goes. So now that you've won Wednesday Night Fights, where is it that you want to go? Uh, to do the taco place. <laughs> That's right, the taco <laughs> place. That's definitely where we're going to hit up after tonight. Taco, but before, yeah, we go, before we head out to, to get some tacos, you know where we got to send the stream? To the, to the skies. That's right. Send them to the skies.